Hello, my name is Kimmo Kataista. I wanted to show you how to create a domain and how to create uh, accounts to that domain in CloudStack. Here we have a working environment which I could use to this demo purposes. So I will go to domains and here, here we have a root domain and under the root domain we have a few domains and uh, I want to create a domain under this domain here we have a button add domain so I will first add domain and then create a account to that domain Okay, I will name the domain to demo domain. Uh, this network domain isn't needed, but I will add it. So I want to name this network domain as a demo dot lan. Then, okay. Um, if you wonder what this network domain means, it's a uh, domain which comes to VMs when uh, you create them. You can sh see it from Windows 7 uh, network adapter settings to which domain you the machine have been joined. Okay, well, I'll just create or add domain now and then create an account. And uh, as you can see, the domain doesn't come here, but um, if we go again to domains and expand the tree, now we can see the demo domain here. And I click it and I want to create an account now. So I click the account button, accounts button and add account. Uh, you should uh, know that uh, the name of the account is a little bit misleading because account is like a group uh, where you can create users every account has its own name um, and you can specify the type of the account uh, but uh, you can think an account like a IT section in a big enterprise company. Uh, big enterprise companies may have many many locations and this could be one locations IT support group or something like that. But I will add username. I shall name it as a demo. Give it a password and put my email to it first name last name and to the domain on uh, which under the account is created so <coughs> I am admin, uh, the highest admin at the cloud stack for now, so I can create uh, this account to any domain, domain which I just choose. Uh, well, I want this account to be admin, so I will give all the resources and all the privileges to this account. Again, again, I could 
uh, assign network domain but it's not uh, used now so I just click add and it's created so now I have created a domain and one account to that domain I can see we have some limitations here and limitations can be put to domain and to account and finally to one specified user so I can uh, set the resources or limits limit the resources by many levels and uh, there's one user now I can see it's on domain demo and role is domain admin and first name and last name and so on uh, here I can change password very I can do uh, this kind of simple things from here thank you for watching this video